there's enough evidence in this book of people confirmed in stone and in, in engravings and in monuments for people to say it can't possibly be real. Uh, including, by the way, something as a little revelation I'll just share with you that I'll probably share in the coming weeks. I did not know this. I just learned this and it made me mad. The Cairo Museum, which is one of the largest museums housing a multiplicity of artifacts, they will not let a certain stele, a steel, uh, sorry, a stone inscribed rock per se, they will not let the public see it. It has been hidden away in the Cairo Museum. Before it got to the Cairo Museum, it was somewhere else and they hid it. There's a reason why they're hiding it. Because, interestingly enough, it is the only stone inscription anywhere, and it dates back to the right time, that tells you about the exodus from the words of a pharaoh, Amchos, which very much covered up, no one would like to talk about, but that stone inscription, very clearly, if you were looking at it on the inscription, for example, has these lines and what look like two zigzags, looks like a ZZ Top thing or something. <laughs> uh, but in hieroglyphics, as you read the line going that way, this represents the waters being split open. And if you read the whole stele, which I only got to see little glimpses and pieces of it, but I saw enough to know, with enough knowledge of hieroglyphics to know what it read, and I, my jaw just went, well, how come I didn't know about this before? Well, because they won't let anybody see it, and there's a reason why. Because it is made known and can be verified and shown as something that would authenticate, not from a Hebrew perspective, but from an Egyptian perspective, telling of the massive amount of plagues and there's a whole description of what happened. They're worried that that will give the people living in Israel uh, some validation on their claim of the land. Therefore, we're going to keep it suppressed. We don't want to even acknowledge that it exists and every attempt to suppress it has been made. The other thing that's crazy is Amho's uh, mummy and his son's mummy have been hidden away there too. And up until recently, um, he's a kind of famous guy on TV that you've probably seen before. He was the one that went in there. He got permission to go in there. And under the auspices, by the way, that he was interested in Egyptian history, not for validating the Bible, found the Pharaoh, which correlates to the time of the Exodus, but more importantly, something that he connected the dots to that shows you guys pretty smart. Because if that Pharaoh was Pharaoh during the Exodus, and he had a son, which he did, and his son was a very young person at the time, he would have actually died with the rest of the firstborn that were killed by the death angel passing over. Now, if you want to call this fiction, but when you investigate this, sorry, the mummies don't lie, all right? <laughs> Everything else can, but I said to you, what you dig out of the earth doesn't lie. Archaeology doesn't lie. You've got a, a, a study of all kinds of things. So what they, what they found is that with today's technology, they could ascertain in a 95% probability of how the sun died and there is no good reason. There is no contusions. There's no injury to the body. There's nothing. There's no sign of disease because they can tell a lot just by taking a tooth and examining it. Why don't you say, well, how would, how would that be possible? Well, for the Egyptian children, there was a sleeping structure. And that would be that, believe it or not, royalty, specifically male royalty, would sleep very close to the ground. And then you've got other people that would sleep elevated. I think that's the order. Anyway, they explain how this would have affected this particular person in their body. This, they can't explain. They call it a gas that passed over Egypt, whatever that means, uh, that killed everybody, whatever that gas is. I, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Sounds like somebody had a bad day or a bad meal. But in any event, there is really good proof to point to that and say, yep, yeah, that is indeed the Pharaoh of the Exodus and that is his son who died in that, time, that same time period. So, you know, it's, it's wonderful 
I don't need something to substantiate the Bible, but when these things come up, it's like, wow. But good luck for those people who are trying to get this released into the general public, not sure that they will have success. <laughs> house, magnify the Lord, lift up holy hands, our hearts in one accord, worship and bow down before